I couldn't find any good tutorials on creating meme coins, so coins on uh, Ethereum network with tax. So I decided to make my own. So in this series of tutorials, you are going to learn how to create a coin or a token with tax, similar to the hundreds of other meme coins. All the code, it is in this GitHub repo. We are going to do in this tutorial uh, three versions of an ERC20 token that have has a tax on transfer. So uh, you can find the code here, but I suggest you, uh, before you start copy pasting, I suggest you just watch the whole tutorial and uh, after that. Note that uh, meme coins can only work on where Uniswap V2 is present. So, or a clone of Uniswap V2, like PancakeSwap or SushiSwap. Um, if you plan to use Uniswap, you can only go with these blockchains at the moment. If you want to do, put it on the code that we're gonna run, we're gonna use Remix, but if you want to put it on a, a real blockchain, like a testnet blockchain, you can go search, for example, BNB faucet, and you can request to have some money sent. And after that, you can see your transaction here. Now, uh, let's go into the code without wasting any more time. And we're going to start with a very simple uh, ERC20 token. Okay, so I'm using uh, 0820 and here I makes the latest uh, compiler is selected. I'm importing ERC20 from Open Zeppelin. I initialize it with a constructor with a name and name and symbol as required. Okay. And I mean to myself um, some millions of, of tokens. Now, how to get tax from this? So to get tax, we have to send less money to the person. So in order to do this, we need to create some custom transfer functions and we need to override Okay, we need to override two functions, the transfer function and the transfer from function. The transfer function is used regularly when a wallet is sent to another one. And transfer from is mostly used by smart contracts or uh, is used uh, using allowance. I won't go into it. Uh, so let's get going. Now, if we go here at File Explorer, we cl click depth contracts, okay, we, um, come on, so on depth NPM open Zeppelin contracts token ERC20, we can find the ERC20 that we are importing here. And if we go to the function transfer, let's just go to the function transfer this function we will override it okay so what what does it call so it just calls this function here so let's just copy paste this code and put it to in our code same for the transfer from okay and we want to test if this override is working okay <laughs> So the easiest way I can think of is just to create a counter. So we create a counter. You don't need to initialize it with zero because it's already initialized it with zero. Okay. So we're gonna just increase a counter when we call these functions. Now we know that every time someone Calls transfer, this counter will get increased. Let's compile it. Um, okay, we have an error saying that uh, this one should return something. So let's add this return value. Let's quickly deploy it. So 
I'm just going to use the Remix envi environment. We select the first address here and we need to give it a name. Uh, no, come on. After you click transact, you see your contract deployed here. If I'm going too fast and uh, you, don't, you are not familiar with Remix, I suggest you check out a more beginner tutorial how to, to write Hello World in Solidity and how to use Remix ID because this one is a little bit more advanced. You can follow it, you can po pause the video and try to follow it, but if you have no experience with Solidity Smart Contracts, I suggest you try some Hello World tutorials and come back to this tutorial once you're familiar, familiar with Remix, okay? So I have the deployed contract here and I'm just going to transfer to this wallet, to the second wallet 100. Once I do the transaction, this function will get executed and the counter, as you see, increased with one. Okay, so now we have the fundamentals, the basis of our our tax coin we need to ov to overwrite these functions okay we need to do something here good so what we do now it's just create another version of this let's copy paste this contract and we call it uh, tiny dodge v1 and let's add the tax so First, remove the counter and let's add a variable called, for example, tax percentage. Now, tax percentage in Solidity, uh, you can't just put 4.2% because Solidity doesn't have decimals. So, we're going to do a little trick. Let's multiply the percentage with. Uh, 100 so if we multiply by 100 this means this is 10 percent initial if we would want one percent we just put here 100 now we can add a function to modify this as an owner later so uh, tax percentage so we have new tax. In a real scenario, you would have here only owner. So you can also limit this tax not to be too high. So, for example, um, this tax can no, uh, uh, must be less than 10% if you want to do it. And now uh, we have to integrate this tax percentage into here. So the sender sends to the address 2 this amount and we have to take a take a tax from it so how do we do that well we can do the following we can calculate the tax amount and this is a value multiplied by the tax percentage divided by 10,000 okay and uh, let's transfer to to the owner's amount after the tax so uh, we go instead of this value here the whole amount of value we're gonna do value minus tax amount and what we do with the tax if the tax amount is greater than zero you, you transfer it to the smart contract so instead of uh, two addresses this address of this smart contract 
and it is here the tax amount. Let's go ahead and compile it. All OK. Let's test it. So this is V1. I don't know, I forgot to change the V1. OK, so V1. Okay, I'm gonna copy this account here uh, because it's easier to work to work with. So let's send to this account here some money. If I say send 100, and you know the tax is 10 percent, this means that the contract address here should receive how many well 10 10 tokens so let's now it has zero tokens we're gonna tra transfer it and la now let's check yes it, it got 10 tokens so very good how many tokens did this address receive well 90 90 tokens and we have to transfer this logic also to the transfer from so I'm gonna replace this logic here we have the uh, tax amount In, instead of the owner we have from and that should be okay if you want, pause the video, republish this contract, uh, give the allowance to, to address the second account and test this function transfer from and you will see that it works on the same principle, everything will be okay. So we are a little bit done. So we have just uh, one more step to do, but in principle, uh, this is how you take taxes uh, on transfers. Now I'm going to clean this up a little bit, let's say pre-publish. So I'm going to copy it and paste it. I'm going to call it V2. Okay, uh, now I, I need, um, before I publish this, or before you publish it, we need to add a couple of things. First of all, we need to add ownable to the smart contract, so it has an owner. So how we do that? The ownable is found under uh, contracts access ownable. And you need to declare this contract as ownable. You need to add here an address initial owner. And uh, here after the RC initial owner. And now you have access I don't know why it doesn't want to compile it. Okay. Now you have access to only owner. So we're gonna make this function only owner modifier. So only owner can call this. Um, good. Now I'm gonna uh, make a list of addresses that are exempt from taxes. For example, um, you as an owner or um, this smart contract, they should be exempt from the taxes. So how to do that? Let's create a mapping of address. Uh, let's make it bull for now. Tax exempt. Do not take tax if this address. Um, yeah, 
okay so first let's add a function um, that sets the status of the tax exempt So this mapping here and let's call the, let's add the owner and the address initially after publishing it. So uh, So we have it public. We add the owner and the address to, to tax exempt, and we should write here a check if um, they are taxes. So, for example, now it depends here on your logic what you want to do, but for our case here. I want to exclude both wallets uh, if one of them is in tax exempt. They should be excluded from from the transfers. Okay, so if they are tra tax exempt, directly transfer the whole amount. And let's just copy. Okay, let's test it. I'm gonna compile it. I have I'm gonna put the third account here for testing. Um gonna transfer to this one and the balance I shouldn't have any tax taken transfer and you see the balance is zero now if I go to the second account which is not tax exempt and I transfer to the third one you see tax is taken so this is how you would add uh, this tax exempt. Uh, now we need to have also a function to withdraw taxes. Uh, external only owner. And we just call transfer from this address to the owner. amount you can replace one with balance of uh, balance of this account or just leave it like this all right now one last thing that i would want to make this token really really pretty like the best stuff for late is i want to add erc20 permit to it and ERC20 permit is under ERC20 extensions ERC20 permit and uh, with this one we need to put it here come on and also we need to 
I'll do it here in the constructor so we can have guess let's approve ERC20 permit I mean dodge Uh, I don't know why Remix doesn't want to compile it. Ah, okay, so here it is. And uh, there you go. You have a simple tax on transfer. Now we are going to do the next tutorial on taxes on swaps. So when you buy or sell the token, you will do um, tax there on swap. Now I can't do this the next tutorial for free, but I can <laughs> I can make it just for one dollar. I'm I won't get rich with your one dollar, but it is a way to to test the payment system and to see if it works. So if you want to have access. To the next tutorial which talks about swaps um, taxes on swap so you tax on on uniswap on buy or on sell please check out the description of uh, this video and if you don't find the info here because sometimes YouTube uh, removes it check out the, uh, my repo in uh, in github and you will find there the information how to get access to the second tutorial which is a tutorial similar to this one but a little bit bigger because it's it's a little bit more complex there how to do taxes on swaps thank you and see you on the next one